Hello, this is Iron Bear, and welcome back to my workshop. Today I'm putting together the Firefly Signar Light Warjack. I've been waiting for the Firefly for a while to add it to my Nemo all-electric force lists. The Firefly's conductor ability nicely complements Stormsmith storm collars, giving them another point to surge or triangulate from. It also has a range 10 POW 10 storm blaster, which comes with Electrolead. Finally, it has an Electroglave that's PNS 13 and has reach, but no other special abilities. The Firefly is the first Signar Light Jack made of plastic, and it comes with all the prerequisite pieces. But in addition, it has some parts that articulate the right arm. There's the upper arm that fits in the shoulder like a ball and socket, the lower arm which can articulate with the upper arm, and the wrist which can articulate the hand and melee weapon. With a little ingenuity, there could be some very interesting conversions. In fact, if Privateer Press sold these plastic arm pieces as parts, you could convert any number of Signar, Merc, or even Menoth like Jacks. The Firefly has a pretty high flash count. Each piece seems to have a little, and some of it is hard to get to, like here on the body, and here on the wrist. It was difficult to get rid of the flash without taking off some rivets or other details. Like all the new plastic jacks, the legs go into fitted spaces, so you can't put the wrong leg on the wrong side. While the left leg went on easily, the right leg didn't quite fit, so I had to shave down the post a little to get it onto the torso. This happened to me on two Firefly models. The boiler and the smokestacks are nice pieces, and they fit well into the back of the jack. and I always put the head on before the arms to make sure they don't get in the way of my big clumsy fingers as I attach the head. The right arm goes on pretty easily too. Just make sure the gun is pointing in the direction you want it to when you glue it. The left arm takes a little more work. You can put it together easily enough if you go by the guide in the back of the box but it has the ability to articulate in three places, so with a little patience, you can put it into some more dynamic positions. Overall, I think the model looks great. I love the oversized steampunk feel of the Storm Blaster, but the head seems a little thin to me, and in the future, I may replace it with another light Warjack head. And there's a fair bit of flash, some of it in spaces tough to work on. This model takes a little more skill and patience than some other jacks, but now that I have two, I can't wait to take on Sam and Andres with my Tier 4 E Nemo lists. That's all for now. I hope this video was informative. For Guts and Gears, I'm Iron Bear.